Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to another game of Great Akiba Rubinstein. The best players of Łódź Chess Club, uh, Rubinstein and uh, Salve, just arrived from Kiev. Uh, they, they were in Kiev 1903, big tournament, and they brought a lot of experience from that tournament. They faced uh, legendary Chigorin, they faced the Bernstein, Jurevich and a lot of famous players of that time. And this was their first tournament. So they were very excited. And once they arrived home, they wanted to figure out who is better. One of them should be better. And as you remember, the year before they play the first match and it was drawn seven to seven. So this time they play second match and Rubinstein won that match five and a half to four and a half and this game gonna cover one of the games between these two so uh, without further ado let's warm welcome the both of the players so uh, as white Akiba Rubinstein and as black uh, Gersh Salve and uh, I estimate their strength as 2500 and chess metrics show their, um, you know, their ranking, but year later or two years later as above 2500. So I believe after Kiev tournament, it's very fair that 2500 gonna be a good representative number for their strength. Okay, without further ado, let's see what happened on the chessboard. Rubinstein open with d4. We have d5, c4, e6, so queen's gambit declined on the board, knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7. And nothing fancy and nothing changed during last century in that. We have e3, a6, C captures on d5, E captures on d5, Queen b3 by Rubinstein, C6 strengthening the center, and we have Bishop on d3. And now we have interesting move by Gersh Salve, Knight on h5, Rubinstein exchange bishop on bishops on e7. We have Knight f3 developing move and Knight on f4. And this knight on f4 um, is possible because the pin on the e file. And uh, as you see, this knight attacks uh, d3, uh, light square bishop, but also g2 pawn. So it's quite, uh, quite interesting move. Rubinstein just retreat the bishop on f1. We have knight on d7 and Rubinstein castle on the queen side. We have a knight on e6, as this uh, knight is now under attack. So we have knight on e6, bishop back to d3, and uh, castle on the, on the king side by black. We have queen on c2, so attacking the h7, knight f6, defending. And here, usually, okay, these are um, castling on opposite sides, so uh, usually attack would, would be, you know, uh, white could attack g4 after g6, uh, rook d on g1, uh, maybe b5 attacking on the queen side, uh, h4, bishop b7, h5, and the game would, you know, continue. Who's gonna attack first? Who's gonna be stronger than, um, you know, can have a uh, mating chances uh, first. But Rubinstein decided to play in the center, so wanted to break the center by e4. Uh, Salve took on e4, we have bishop on e4 and developing this bishop on d7. We have rook h on e1, so um, Rubinstein want to uh, be stronger in the center and make, you know, some attacks um, this way. We have queen on d6, queen d2, and knight on f4. So Salve attacking um, this g2 pawn again. 
Uh, but in this case, Rubinstein totally don't care about that pawn because even if the pawn is taken, uh, White would get the quite strong attack on the G file. So a knight on E5 was played, and now as you see, this knight is not uh, protected by the queen anymore. So a salve retreat to D5. We have Bishop on C2, uh, Knight C2. C uh, three captures on c3 so uh, Rubinstein takes back on c3 and then we have queen a3 check king just uh, go to the b1 and we have bishop on e6 so as you see salve got some uh, attacking chances he plays uh, for a2 and strong attack on um, the queen side However, this can be countered just by c4. We have rook f on d8, rook on e3, so attacking this queen. As you see now, the uh, rank 3 is uh, fully operational, so the rook can stay here and uh, queen has to retreat. Uh, salve retreat to d6, probably retreating to f8 would be slightly better. We have rook on g3, and now as you see, uh, white are in attacking mode, so they can, you know, make a quite strong attack on the king's wing, so uh, pretty interesting uh, idea. And now, probably the best uh, answer for black would be maybe g6, and after queen on h6, uh, uh black should just counter this queen but first make maybe make a you know check and after moving the the king then just go back to um to f8 uh queen on h4 attacking this knight and then queen g7 consolidating the position and also setting up this queen on the same diagonal with the king so uh, black should be totally fine for example f4 consolidating the center knight knight h5 and and the, the gameplay would be equal uh, material is equal, everything looks fine, rook maybe moves to e3 or, or, or c3 and everything would be uh, quite fine for both sides. Uh, however, Salve in this position decided to move the knight on e8 and this is quite passive move uh, which maybe could give a little bit of initiative to Rubinstein. Rubinstein play f4 we have f6 so attacking this uh, very annoying let's say that's very annoying knight uh, but this time rubinstein don't care about this knight so he play queen on d3 and now this knight uh, actually cannot be taken if black would decide to take then we have very strong attack on the king uh, for example king on f8 queen h8, king f7, queen h5, and as you see the king can't escape here because after that move the rook would attack the the, uh, the king and queen, so queen would be x-rayed and uh, or, or rather pinned because cannot be moved and um, and yeah black would have to give the queen, so king f8 now f on e5 and the f file is now open so uh, that is gonna be a pretty strong attack black has not much moves maybe maybe check first but but white can just uh, go to b3 and attack the queen what black can do takes take on c4 and trying to you know push on a2 and get some mating chances but uh, white simply uh, attack on the king with check king e7 bishop b3 and this time uh, black has nothing to do they have to uh, give the queen if the queen is moved wherever like move from this diagonal for example on b5 there is a checkmate on f7 so that's not the way 
uh, this knight cannot be taken so uh, Salve of course calculated that so play f5 and now Rubinstein continued the attack in the center very risky plan but he play d5 uh, Salve took on d5 and c on d5 as well and here was the probably last chance where Salve could get the equal game uh, by moving his queen from the d file for example queen on b6 with check queen b3 and queen exchange the queens on b3 and bishop f7 or, or yeah that, that would be the best move and probably white stands slightly better because have more active pieces and have this advanced uh, pass pawn but um, it's not easy to bring this pa pass pawn you know to the promotion so um, the game would be easier for white but it's still a lot of um, game to play it's still a lot of chances for both sides uh, but uh, here uh, salve play queen takes on d5 and that's actually uh, blundering the exchange because uh, Rubinstein answered bishop on b3 so attacking the queen and now there are two ways that um, black can give the exchange more fancy one would be queen on b3 and after a takes on b3 uh, rook d3 and rook from uh, g takes on d3 and white have you know exchange extra and really great gameplay uh, on the open file and also with this wonderful knight this this is the monster knight this is the guy who who is you know controlling everything around here very difficult for black and um, not really but but probably nothing more can be done uh, Salve decided to give exchange another way so we have queen takes on d3 with check uh, rook from g takes on d3 and we have bishop takes on b3 and rubinstein takes on d8 we have bishop takes on d1 and rook takes on a8 and as you see the knight is attacked and cannot be moved and also king mm, has not easy way to support this knight he, he could would have to stay uh, on the eight rank so uh, salve play bishop on a4 we have rook on b8 h6 making the space for the king and then um, the knight could be released king b2 king h7 as planned rook b7 now taking this pawn we have knight f6 g3 and in this position salve just resigned the game and he just calculated that there is not much to do uh, actually white plan can even sacrifice this rook for the bishop and the pawn uh, on the queen side and bring this pass pawn to the promotion and uh, black king would have to you know go somewhere there while white king just could go uh, maybe not this way but this way and clear the black king uh, side so yeah that's the game from uh, match number two won by rubinstein and um, yeah that's all for today and if you uh, like this video push like button if you don't like push unlike and comment i'm waiting for comments i want to hear from you you know if if i hear from you i can answer with better content um you know just for you what you are interested probably uh, i will cover in next movies the great tournaments which is coming so stay tuned and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one